everyone, welcome back to my channel and to this week's grocery haul. So this week we have got our weekly food shop from Sainsbury's. So yes, we collected it last night and I'm going to show you everything that we've got and then also do our meal plan at the very end. So I really hope that you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe if you do like watching food hauls and I'm going to get straight into it. So here is everything that we have bought from Sainsbury's this week. It did come to, I think it was about £92, so it was quite a big shop. There are a couple of things missing which are cards. So it's my birthday card, which is soon from my husband and then one from my son. And also our wedding anniversary card from my husband to me, because he's the one that um, went into the shop yesterday. So yes, obviously they are missing because they are a surprise for me. So just so you know, there were a couple of extra bits. But the first thing is this roll of wrapping paper, which again is for my birthday. So I don't mind seeing that. The cards are definitely going to be kept under wraps. Um, and then we got a toothbrush for my son who, if you don't know, he is called Arthur and he is 15 months old. And yeah, we just needed another toothbrush because his one, he's probably had it a little while. So we've just bought that little one there. And we also needed some tissues. They didn't have a big box of them, which is a bit annoying because it probably works out more expensive buying them individually packed like this, but never mind. So we've got tissues there. We didn't have any breakfast cereals this week, so we didn't need any. So that's probably like the first ever. But we did get a lot of bread as usual, so we've got a nice soft white loaf there, which is for Arthur, and also this sliced seeded one here, which is obviously for me and my husband, and we do enjoy that one. We've got a small wholemeal kind of crusty loaf there, and also this fruit loaf, which is so, so nice. I did buy it uh, a couple of weeks ago. Before that, I kept trying to buy it, and I never had it in stock. But I basically saw this on Mummy Cleans, um, Charlotte. She always has fruit loaf, so I was really inspired because I thought, oh, that sounds nice, and it is really good. If you like toasted tea cakes, it's basically like that, or even hot cross buns. Anyway, on to snacks then. I've got a packet of hobnobs here, some milk chocolate digestives, and also we have some shortbread there. I've also got these biscuits as well. So there is four lots of biscuits, which I know Seems like a lot. We probably have, I would say, between us, well, each, we probably have about, like, three and a half biscuits, or maybe four. Sometimes, basically, we have half a biscuit and then a bit of chocolate instead, if that makes sense. So I don't think we get overboard on biscuits, but sometimes it's just nice to have, like, a different selection, if you know what I mean. Like, sometimes you might want something more plain, or sometimes you might want something more chocolatey. So, yeah, hence the wide selection of, uh, of biscuits there. We also got some Kinder chocolate there and also some um, just like plain milk chocolate. As I said, we do have like a little square or two of that with our cup of tea and like another biscuit. And then savoury snacks, we've got lots of crisps. They didn't have the pea crisps that we get from Sainsbury's, unfortunately. We do really like those. So my husband had to go into the shop yesterday to get a few bits like this, which I didn't have. So we just got plain ones, um, like multi-pack, different flavoured, and then also salt and vinegar. We also got these hot potato chips, which are really, really nice. And then these are for my Sam. So he did really well with these last time we bought a packet. Yeah, he, he was loving them. He didn't want to stop eating them. So we got two little packs of those. And we've also got, I think we've had this make before of crackers or, or flatbreads, whatever it was, I can't remember. But we definitely didn't have these ones. These are sourdough, so we thought we would just give that a go this week. And then the only other snacks we've got, I think, is just these bars. So we've got our apple and orange OT bars, which... I think I probably said before, even though they're suitable for children of Arthur's age, we d haven't ever given them to him just because I find that they catch in my throat a little bit. Like, oats tend to do that. However, I have kind of like, me and my husband did actually give him just like a little bit just to see how he got on with it. Just like kind of like little crumbs almost. And yeah, he, he seemed to enjoy it. I also, I even crumbled some into his yogurt actually the other day. So yeah, it's just something when we're out and about, it's kind of hard thinking of different snacks and things to give him. So they'll probably be quite good. So yeah, me and my husband will mostly have these, but maybe we'll like reserve one for my son as well. And we also have these graze bites. We've had these before, like cocoa vanilla. They're really, really nice. They're quite like soft. They're not, well, they're kind of bars, but they're square, I think. So, but yeah, they're really good. I'd recommend them. And then we've got some things for our kind of cupboards. So we've got one veggie curry, which me and my husband have for lunch. We just have half a can each on a jacket potato. We've got two cans of baked beans, we've got one chopped tomatoes, 
and also I've got some vegan mayonnaise there and also some strawberry jam. I've really been ha enjoying having jam on toast in the evening. So yeah, we needed some of that. I've also got one passata. We have needed some more brown sauce and we always get the reduced salt and sugar and it doesn't taste any different. So I don't know why they just don't reduce the salt and sugar on a normal one anyway, if that makes sense. I mean, I don't know, they probably tried extra for it, I don't know. But yeah, that is absolutely fine, it's nice. And we've got our pasta there. So coming on to our vegetables then, we have got some carrots there. Um, I, we have got a pepper, so we'll probably have that with some sort of spicy rice or paella or fajitas or something like that. We just, we don't always get a pepper. My husband doesn't love them, but I said, let's get one this week for a change. We've also got loads of potatoes. We've got two packs of four and then also a bigger bag of potatoes there as well. I know I always say, but we make like chips and stuff. We have jacket potatoes for lunch probably once a week. So yeah, we do need a lot of potatoes. I've got a couple of mushrooms there and also some tomatoes. These are for me to have on pizza. Or if we have a jacket, I'll have a bit of tomato with it. Yeah, I just like to use them really. Obviously they're very good for you. We've got some red onions here and we have a nice cabbage and also a broccoli. And then we've also got half a cucumber, which as I said before, that is for me and my son. He did actually, he enjoyed it the first time. Then he kind of stopped eating it, but he did have it again the other day. So yeah, it's still worthwhile getting it and obviously just try them on different things. But I've quite enjoyed having that as well. So fruit then, we have some pears here, mini ones, they are actually tiny, they're <laughs> really cute. But hopefully they'll ripen up nice because sometimes they didn't always ripen up that well. Pears, but these are different ones, so yeah, we thought we'd try those. And we've also got a pack of apples. We've then got a pack of bananas and this was actually a set of two bananas, just extra. We go through quite a lot of them. And then we've also got a punnet of strawberries and we've opened these this morning and they're actually pretty good. Strawberries are always hit and miss. I probably say that every time, but yeah, touch wood. They seem like they're pretty good, actually. They were nice. We've also got a pun of grapes, and these are massive. They're really, really big. Unfortunately, see, my husband bought these, and he didn't realise at the time they were actually seeded. So it's a bit of a shock when we were eating them, <laughs> but never mind. Tastes the same. And we've also got a little... Um, like a snack pot of melon really so we've actually had a couple of bits of that this morning and again Arthur enjoys that so the rest of the fridge stuff technically technically this isn't actually fridge until you open it but I always put it here so I've just got two of my rice milks there we've got one um, big whole milk and a small whole milk which is for my son and my husband will also like share that as well because obviously Arthur won't have all of it but you kind of have to buy two because obviously once it's open, it doesn't last that long, just a few days. And yeah, sorry it's open, but we have just had breakfast. So my husband and Arthur have just had some of that. We've also got some semi-skim milk, and then we've got three coconut milks. We are recently having cereal, obviously for breakfast, but then in the evening as well. And we are just going through so much milk. So yeah, we do need lots of it. And we've also got some yogurt. So this is... Um, my one, I have soy yogurt and Arthur will have some of that too. And then my husband just has his um, Yo Valley one there. And then cheese, my husband has got cheddar. He does prefer having um, like organic one, but he, he, he has it and also my son has it. Sometimes Arthur has some of mine. But yeah, we're just finding that we're going through a lot of it. So my husband just said he, he wouldn't mind just having like a cheaper one and just buying a bigger block so yeah so that's a massive block there and then also my cheese there they didn't have my via life i have had this one before and this one's really nice sainsbury's vegan cheese is really good they do do i think it's called greek style i guess it's like feta cheese and it's really really nice and very similar to actual feta cheese so yeah if you're ever in sainsbury's and you like kind of plant-based uh, cheese or vegan cheese then i would recommend their range we've also got some falafels here which are good for snacks and also this corn vegetarian bacon We've got some soup here. This is a new one. We haven't had this before. Sweet potato, coconut and chilli. And that is vegan. And yeah, hopefully that'll be nice. I'm not sure how spicy it is and whether or not my son will be able to have any. So it's not focusing very well. Um, but yeah, hopefully that will be nice. I'm sure it will be. We've also got a pack of eggs there. And we've got these again, which are these cans of cloudy apple, like sparkling apple. Really, really nice. It's just nice to take out 
for the day like at the weekend and stuff so we just thought we'd get another pack of that and also some Yorkshire puddings for a change so they are fridge ones and then lastly just a few things for the freezer so we've got some peas there which we needed more of we do tend to go through quite a lot of peas actually um we've got the two corn pies which we really really enjoy and also some linda mccartney's sausages there we've got some corn southern fried burgers which we do enjoy so that'll probably be with like spicy rice and we've also got some of linda mccartney's soya mints there and we do have a lot of soya mints my um my husband my son does enjoy mints like when he has it with spaghetti or whatever but like Whenever he has mints, Arthur tends to like really enjoy it. So it's always good to make sure we've got some of that in. And last but not least is this pizza dough, which I've talked about before. I've bought it a few times. Yeah, it's just really nice just to like make our own pizza. And it works out really well because I prefer having vegan cheese. And my husband will obviously have dairy cheese. So we can just like have cut this in half and just have half each with whatever toppings we like rather than buying like a big pizza each. So yeah, that is everything that we have bought this week at Sainsbury's. Okay, so our meals of the week, and this is in no particular order. As you know, we always do have pizza on a Friday, which we did actually have last night, because it's Saturday morning. So um, yeah, that's the only day we kind of always know what we're having, but the rest is kind of a little bit flexible. So the other meal that we're gonna have is pies. So we've got these corn pies. I love those, they're so, so good. My husband actually said they're the only vegetarian pies that he actually enjoys. He doesn't eat any meat pies anyway, to be fair. But yeah, they are the ones that he really, really likes and they are good. So we just have that with some plain mash. We haven't got sweet potato this week, as you saw. So just like normal potatoes. And we've got cabbage, broccoli, peas and carrots and gravy, obviously. Then, as I say, we've got the pizza. So we've got the pizza dough, which I showed you. And we'll just have that probably with homemade chips or wedges and beans, just quite like a simple meal. And when we have that, we usually tend to give Arthur something like spaghetti, which he really enjoys. And we've got some um, like veggie balls in the freezer or something like that along with, with it, obviously in passata and chopped tomatoes. So yeah, he really enjoys that. I think this week we will probably make a lasagna again. We've been really enjoying having that. We're not having it every single week, but yeah, just like every other week or every three weeks or so, just really enjoying that. So yeah, so that's pretty self-explanatory really, but obviously we will have that with our veggie mints. As I said, also we'll be having those burgers probably with spicy rice, I think. So that's why we've got the pepper in. That'd be nice to have with just some onions in there as well. And sometimes we put peas in the rice. Sometimes we'll just have them on the side separate. But yeah, we do enjoy that. And we haven't got any rolls this week. Sometimes we do have it in a roll, but probably just have it like plain. Maybe we could have bread if we wanted to, but I expect we'll probably just have it as it is. Then for another meal this week, I think my husband really wants fried eggs, chips and beans. So it's not a particularly like healthy meal, is it? But it's just something quite quick and easy and tasty. Like we hardly ever have fried eggs. We usually have omelette if we're gonna have an egg meal for tea. So yeah, that's something a bit different this week. And I think we're also going to make some shepherd's pie. So again, that will be with the soy mints and we'll have carrots in there and then we'll have peas on the side. I do like to have extra gravy on mine. My husband does it, but I've, I find it still a little bit dry. So yeah, I'll have a bit of extra gravy too. And Arthur really, really enjoys that. As I said, he loves anything with soy mints basically. So yeah, that's a winner for all of us. And the very last meal that we'll have is the sausage casserole with those Linda McCartney sausages. So yeah, it's a fairly healthy-ish, I suppose, meals other than the fried egg one, but you know, lots of meals with vegetables, which we do like to try and have, especially since having Arthur, but I think we did it anyway. But yeah, we always like to make sure Arthur has a good selection of food and vegetables too. So I really hope that you enjoyed hearing our meals and also seeing everything that we've picked up from Sainsbury's this week. Don't forget to give this video a like if you did enjoy it. But thank you so much for watching. I would love for you to subscribe if you enjoy watching food hauls. And also I post two times a week mainly or maybe one to two times. I usually tend to do three but sometimes I don't always get time to do it. So yeah, I was going to talk about that in another video maybe. But yeah, if you do like watching motherhood and lifestyle videos alongside these food hauls, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. But thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you have a lovely day, whatever you're doing. And I really hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.